Yes, ma'am. You, you are very eager. Hi, Senator McCain. My name is Jumana, and I met you years ago, and I've always been a loyal supporter of you. I've always been a loyal supporter of you since the Keating Five. I go that back. Anyway, the point is right now, no one's denying there's a lot of atrocities being committed in Syria, whether on the rebel side or whether on the other side as well. The point is there is a good option to what could happen in Syria. For me to listen to you saying there is no good option, I refuse to believe that. The good option right now is to take Saudi Arabia and Iran and force them to stop supporting the, the, the two sides in Syria. And you could do it. You can do it by, by diplomacy and negotiation, not bombs, Senator McCain. We cannot afford, we cannot afford to shed more Syrian blood. Personally speaking, I have a cousin who is 18 years old, just was killed 10 days ago by the so-called rebels and Al-Qaeda. And they're not Syrian. They're coming to Syria from all over the world to fight this. We cannot afford to do that. We cannot afford to turn Syria into another Iraq or Afghanistan. I beg you. My family is there. There's so many good Syrians. The majority of the Syrian people want to save their country. And you need to also listen to the majority of the American people who do not want you to go there. This is, this is not an issue that we could take so lightly, Senator McCain. Enough is enough. We do not want another engagement in the Middle East. We don't want Al-Qaeda to take over. We don't, whether, you like, whether you like Bashar al-Assad or not, I am not a fan either. But... At least he has a secular government going on over there. It is secular, Senator McCain. We are a minority over there. We are the minority Christians who are unfortunately, by you and so many in the Senate, are just considering us as collateral damages. And I refuse to believe that. I refuse that because I could trace my family's name to the Bible. We were there prior. From the beginning of humanity, we were there. And we refuse to be forced to leave and flee and be considered a collateral damage. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your passionate plea. Thank you for your very compelling and emotional statement. And uh, all I can tell you is that I, too, have been to Syria. I, too, know the people who are fighting there. I met them. I know them. And I know who they are. And I know Syria well enough to know that it is a moderate nation. It is not a nation that will embrace these foreign fighters. But to say that Bashar Assad is anything but a merciless butcher, then we have a strong disagreement. <laughs>